Hey there, Daniel G again. So in the last video, I talked to you about Ding Ding Food, Microwave, and what this destroyed cells do to our body. Now, have you ever asked yourself why alcohol doesn't have the same effect on you than 10 years before? If so, well, that's a very easy explanation. Let me put it like this. Your body is actually your bodyguard. The only task that your body has is to make you survive as long as possible and as healthy as possible. Now, what happens if you first drink alcohol? We're probably like, Ugh, this is no good. So this is the first signal our body gives us to tell us, hey friend, this is not very good for us. Are you sure you want to take this? And naturally, as we are, we ignore that signal and we get used to it. So we drink and things happen. We drink too much. So the body does what? He throws up. And then again is the second signal. He says, hey buddy, uh, maybe last time I wasn't made myself very clear but this is not good for us. Are you sure you want to take that again? And the same thing, kind of signal, is the hangover. It's again our body signaling us, this is no good for us, please don't do that again. Now, and this is very important, what happens next, because we don't listen to our bodies, let's be frank, right? Me either, I didn't, nobody does. But what happens next is that our body thinks that we have no choice. Because we continue to drink, we continue to give him alcohol. So he thinks, okay, doesn't have a choice, I need to deal with it. And the way the body deals with it is actually ingenious because he starts building a resistance to it. It's like with any poison, if you take a little dose of poison, your body gets used to it and builds a resistance to it. And that's why it's not your fault that it hasn't the same effect as 10 years before. And it's also not your fault that you drink more. And you want more all the time. Well, it's not your fault. It's your decision to drink. Don't get me wrong. But this effect is because your body wants to protect you. Your body wants you to survive. Now, the good thing is, if you reduce it a little bit, let's say you cut, cut out the last drink of the evening, or you cut one whole evening out per week, or whatever your rhythm is, right? Your body gets the signal from you saying, ah, I got it, okay, got the message, give me some time, I'm coming along. And your body starts to relax again and starts to reduce that resistance. And it has more energy to take care of other things that's going on. So everything you cut out, say you cut, you have four beers in the evening, you just have three. It's signaling your body that it can change and it can relax a bit. So you see, it's not that difficult. And it's not entirely your fault that you're drinking maybe more than 10 years before. It's also your body that wants you to be healthy. So, if you want to know more, put your email below, subscribe, and you will get tons of emails with a lot of information about how this works, about how to cut out drinks, about how to become more aware of the whole situation, but also a lot of emails I will talk about that it's not your fault. Because another thing is also, it's a trap. But later on, put your email down there and you will get the emails and you will learn a lot about alcohol, about your body, about cells, about a lot of stuff. And then you'll see you.